Hey family, my name is Richard. And I'm Brittany. And we are the founders of lovealwaysministries.com. And we want to say thank you so much for tuning into this channel. And if you guys could, could you make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated with everything that's going on right here on this channel. And if you'd like to partner with our ministry, you can do so by heading over to lovealwaysministries.com slash donate to make a donation today. Um, or you can give by snail mail. Just look for the website at the bottom of every page on our website. Um, and if you haven't checked out our book, A Call to Purity, what are you waiting for? It is available on Amazon or on our website. Make sure that you pick yourself up a copy today. It is changing lives all over the world. We love you guys. We can't do what we do without you. So thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And thank you for tuning into our channel. We love you guys so much and we pray God's blessings over you. Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to the Let's Talk Purity podcast with Richard and Brittany Delamora. As always, this podcast is brought to you by edify.app. Please, please do us a favor. If this podcast is blessing you, we hope and pray that you would share it. Um, we just had set our goals for the year with lovealwaysministries.com and we tallied up last year that or this year that we reached over two and a half million people through all of our platforms and this next year we want to reach over five million people with the gospel and we cannot do that without your help so please share this podcast with your followers like subscribe give us a five-star review we appreciate you guys um today i'm excited about the topic because it's something that God has brought me free from and um, or he's brought me through and I just we want to encourage you today because we're at the end of the year and maybe things haven't necessarily gone your way or you've just been in this in this mess that you can't seem to get yourself out of. Um, maybe you've been surrounded by just just darkness or maybe you've lost some hope because your life doesn't look the way that you thought that it would look. Um, and I just want to encourage you and remind you today that the puzzle pieces of your life are going to come together. And when they do and you see the entirety of your life and, and why you had to go through everything that you went through to bring you to where you will be, you are going to just be praising God and you're going to be so grateful because when, when God is the one who's putting the puzzle piece of your life together, you can count on him that it is going to be something beautiful. One of my favorite scriptures in the Bible is Romans 8, 28, and it says, and we know that God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And if you love God, uh, let me just encourage you that whatever it is that you may have gone through, whether you made some pretty awful mistakes in 2023, maybe you've been... 2022. You're right. Maybe you've made some pretty awful mistakes in 2022 or... Um, you know, you've fallen into some sort of habitual sin, like God is going to work all that together for good. Um, I have learned to do something in my life that when I'm going through hard times, I start to like do what's countercultural to our flesh, right? Like our flesh wants us to complain. Our flesh wants us to like see our situation and feel hopeless but our spirit can do something different and our spirit can praise God through the middle of our mess. And so Romans 8 37 says that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So when I'm going through hard times, I just go, thank you, God, for this hard time, because I know, God, that what I'm going through like you have made me more than a conqueror. So I am not only am I going to get through this, but when I do get through this, you are going to Romans 8, 28, my life where you're going to work it together for good so that I can go and help other people. Like in my life, I was a porn star. I was a drug addict. I worked in the strip club. I battled with, uh, I was in prostitution, all kinds of mental illnesses. 
Uh, but when God gave me the victory, he now uses me to go and bring other people victory as well. And so I want to speak that over your life, that the puzzle pieces of your life are going to come together and God is going to get the glory and you are going to go and help others through it. Amen. Um, what are some things that maybe you've seen in your life, love, that God has just worked together in your life so that he could get the glory like let's encourage some people today that that just are feeling a little bit a little hopeless let's encourage yeah them. i think just we just need to see our wins differently i think we need to have a whole different perspective of what we see as a fruitful year you see growing up for me i always thought a fruitful year was i'm killing all my goals Okay, I'm not, everything on my vision board in 2022, I knock out. Dude, you're amazing, right? Or it may be a certain avenues that I get into or certain things that I build or whatever, okay? That to me back in the day was a successful year. But the way that I noticed that God does things, he, he does things a whole lot differently. You see, in our society here today, we praise fruit, right? Because when we, when you're a fruitful person, you're a quote unquote but a it successful on person. Definition of fruit. Absolutely. So, you know, for you this year, friend, maybe your year was super productive and super fruitful, but it's that you you haven't seen your season or you haven't seen your year correctly and clearly. Here's what I mean. Maybe this year for you, this was a year that God did a lot of soul work in you. And now you're healthy as ever. You don't harbor bitterness, unforgiveness. You don't compare yourself with another person. And here you are. You are whole and you are well. Okay, look, that might not be a cool Instagram of you just taking a photo and saying, God, my, my this year was a good year because soul work happened in my life. I'm whole and well. But the reality to me, that is a big win mm -hmm. because I don't care what you have accomplished. If you've accomplished a plethora of things, yet you are still bitter, you're still hurt, you're still riddled with anxiety, and you're not really living like a life that is at peace and that's led by the Lord, to me, that's not a win. Yeah. And I think we need to see things differently. You know, sometimes we're so focused in on our fruits, but what if the fruit of your life was the root? that God is forming in your life so it's grounded in Him. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, that's a real win. Like, a real win looks like, hey, you know what? This whole year, I went to church all year. I, you know, I, 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 uh, don't I have a great relationship with God like God and I were not distant you know anymore like we actually I have like a real good intrinsic deep relationship with God that's incredible like that is amazing and the reason why I want to bring this up because if we start seeing our year differently I think it's going to bring more confidence into our 2023. Yeah, that's good. It's just the way that we see things. And I think for me, Britt, I had to mature in this way. Um, I remember this one time you talked about like about my, my, my past, right? So I think at one time for me, I remember this one day I was really mad at my father because I had to go to work one day. And ever since I was a young boy, my dad's always, you know, made me work. I really never had spring breaks, winter breaks, any of those breaks. Uh, the word break to me was literally my dad's going to break me, make me go to work. <laughs> But I remember this one day, I was around 13 years old, and I'm like, Dad, why are you doing this to me? Like, why don't I ever get a day off? Why, why, I, I, like, why are you sometimes are you so hard on me? And my dad told me, son, I know right now you don't understand it, but one day you will. Because everything I'm doing in you is going to be for your better benefit later on. And I didn't really understand that. That's something that a 12-year-old doesn't want to hear, right? <laughs> yeah. I want to hear that, hey, you know what? You're right. Go to the beach with your friends. But what my dad was doing was he was working on my character. Yeah. He was working on maturing me. Yeah. He was working on me being a better man, a man who knew how to take care of business, yeah. right? And I think about somebody in the Bible. The Bible teaches us in the book of Psalms that Joseph, the scripture says, until the time came, right, the Lord tested Joseph's character. Amen. So I think for a lot of us here today, God's bringing all of this together and he's going to. But maybe this year, this was a year that God was like, I'm going to build foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work on you a little bit. I'm going to work on your character. Hey, I'm going to work on maturing you in your life. Or I'm going to work on growing you so you so that whenever somebody tries to throw shade at you or whenever you hear comments or criticism, it doesn't affect you so you can move forward. Because where I'm taking you, I need to mature you.
And I know oftentimes with God, we want the blessing, right? We want God bless me, God open the door. But what if the blessing was the maturity? Mm -hmm. So you could be able to handle the new thing that he has for you later yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying like, that's, that's why I love it. Like how God works all of this together so we could give him the glory. Mm -hmm. But it's just as our society, babe, uh, doesn't, it, uh, we don't see wins that way. Our yeah. society sees things a whole lot differently. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're here today and this year has been a little bit of struggle to you. I just want you to sit back, reflect on the, all the things that God has helped you in. You know, maybe, you know, recently, hey, you're on Thanksgiving holiday. Maybe you've seen that one family member. And instead of like going off of them or instead of dissing yourself with them, hey, maybe this year you were loving on them and you didn't allow their words to get the best of you. You yeah. see, that's Christ like, that's being like Christ. And to me, that is a huge win. Yeah, you got to celebrate that for sure. And um, I love too, like with your life, like, when I look at, you know, like for you, you were disciplined as a child, right? And so it's like the fruit of that and like your ability to work hard, like all of that came in a time that was confusing to you. Yeah. But now in adulthood, like you have reaped such a harvest. Absolutely. Whereas me, I wasn't taught all of that. And so I kind of had to play catch up when yeah. we got married. Like you taught me a lot of uh, work ethic yep. and character building and different things that I didn't necessarily know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so maybe you're going through the season where like I, I hear like... Um, you you're growing up and you've grown up in church and you feel like you've always been the good one yeah. or you know you feel like you've always you're always getting disciplined by the lord but the lord disciplines those whom he loves and i just believe that there's such a big call on yeah. on your life you who's listening in right now like yeah. god has such a call on your life and so you have to go through these seasons that feel a little confusing yeah. that feel a little hard like well all my friends get to go out and party and drink and do whatever they want but me i'm over here and like i just have this conviction like i can't do these things but you don't really know why yet yeah. because you're not walking in the fullness of your call yeah. but when you start to walk in the fullness of your call you're gonna look back and you're gonna just yeah. praise god for the time that he kept you like in a cave under the shelter of his wings yep. because he is doing something so great in your life and Dude, maybe good. your life isn't necessarily like that maybe you're like well i've just been wilding out my whole life i'm more like you yep. Brittany. like you were in the porn industry well i've been sleeping around and like how's the lord gonna work this together for good yeah. trust me if you surrender it to god he will work it together for good. Yeah. Let him break you free from that shame. Be his, his mouthpiece. Be a vessel. Yeah. Share your experiences to help other people. Like, that's where I feel like, you know, if I can go and help people that want to stop watching porn, if I can go and help other industry workers get out of the industry if they want to get out, like, then I feel like I am fulfilling my purpose. Yeah. And I feel like the puzzle pieces of my life have come together yeah. so beautifully in that way. And But that didn't happen overnight. When I first became a Christian, I, I remember saying... I feel like I've wasted seven years of my life in the porn industry, addicted to drugs and yeah. mental illness. None of those years were wasted yeah. because the moment that you surrender your life to God, all of your sin, your mistakes, no matter how long you you uh, were in that lifestyle, none of it was wasted That's because so God will work it all, all together, together for good. Come on, somebody. That's a you good guys, word. 2023 is going to be a really great year yep. for you. If we can encourage you to do anything, it is to seek Jesus. Yep. Seek God on a daily basis. Don't go one day without him. Don't go one day without conversing. He, he wants to be your best friend. So yep. draw near to him and he will draw near to you and I promise you you're going to begin to see the puzzle pieces of your life come together and it is going to be incredible so thank you so much for tuning in to the Let's Talk Purity podcast we love you guys so much and we'll see you next year oh my goodness 2023 love you guys God bless you hey family my name is Richard and I'm Brittany and we are the founders of lovealwaysministries.com and we want to say thank you so much for tuning into this channel and if you guys could could you make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay updated with everything that's going on right here on this channel. And if you'd like to partner with our ministry, you can do so by heading over to lovealwaysministries.com slash donate to make a donation today. Um, or you can give by snail mail. Just look for the website at the bottom of every page on our website. Um, and if you haven't checked out our book, A Call to Purity, what are you waiting for? It is available on Amazon or on our website. Make sure that you pick yourself up a copy today. It is changing lives 
all over the world. We love you guys. We can't do what we do without you. So thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. And thank you for tuning into our channel. We love you guys so much. And we pray God's blessings over you.